Uh, big boy! What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Remnant from the Ashes video. So in this one, we're actually going to be going through the Sunken Passage and seeing the enemy variety of this dungeon as a prerequisite to the next area, which is called the Grinder, which is also the home of a boss called Gorefist. This is a boss that a lot of people have a lot of trouble with, but really isn't that hard as long as you can control the adds. Because the ads is, is what really makes this guy difficult. But we'll get to that once we get to that area. For now, let's go ahead and go through this dungeon. Alright, so looks like there's nothing but these little heads. These guys are super easy. You don't even really need to use uh, your, your ammo or anything like that. I mean, I still probably am. But either way, you don't really have to. It's one of those situations where... You really don't need to use your ammo on the little guys. But, you know what? I'm going to make it even simpler and just go ahead and swarm them to death. <laughs> just so that we can run through this dungeon. So far, there isn't anything challenging. Just the little heads. They're called hollows, by the way, but I like to call them little heads. They're super simple. Oh, you can hear one of these guys coming. I call those the brains, by the way. But yeah, this dungeon is pretty simple overall. There is nothing too challenging in this dungeon. Uh, with the exception of a couple, obviously. But overall, man, this dungeon's pretty simple. Also, something to take into consideration. If you're lucky, you're able to get... Uh, an actual very rare item in this game, uh, which is called the Leto's Amulet, which was added as a DLC for free for everybody that owns the game, but getting it is definitely a grind fest. Unless you're lucky uh, and get it on the first, you know, uh, first playthrough or something. But if you want to know exactly how to get it, I actually have a walkthrough and guide where I briefly discuss how to get it in that video. I'll put it in the description down below. Nice try there, buddy. Aw, oh, I spoke too soon. You bastard. Oh yeah, I forgot this character doesn't have any trait uh, points into uh, health or stamina. <laughs> She's, she's a really good character. She's got everything, but... I'm literally just trying to get her max trait still. Doesn't look like we've... We've seen any, you know... Any, like, mini-bosses or anything like that so far. I don't know how I feel about that. This is turning out to be a little too simple. But, I mean, I guess I can't really complain. It makes the video a lot shorter and more condensed, right? Let's see what we got here. So, this is Mother's Ring. Let me... if Unless I get attacked, I'll show you. But Mother's Ring is a... It's a, it's a decent ring. It reduces incoming ranged damage by 20%. So, if that's a ring you're trying to grind to get, this is a possible location. But of course, you can find it pretty much anywhere on Earth, but... Well, we're done, so let's go ahead and go into the grinder. So as you can see, we are now officially in the grinder. And the grinder, obviously, is the home to Gorfis, which you guys are gonna so pleasantly see right now. Uh, big boy! Run! Oh, that bastard hit me. 
This is not turning very good. Oh, I'm not doing very good. Crap. Well, that's a disaster. So I messed that up very badly the first time. Let's go ahead and actually do it right this time. It's those ads that are pain in the ass, man. Oh god. When he transforms into that, it's definitely a hell of a lot better to just get the hell out of the way. Come on, buddy. I know there's gonna be some coming. Oh, come on, I juke that. He's dead. So, that was very deceptive. I made the first fight look completely terrible, uh, admittingly, but you know what? This boss really isn't that hard whatsoever. All you got to do is literally take care of the ads and he's just very simple. But let's go ahead and go back to Ward 13 and I'll show you exactly what you get by defeating him. Alright guys, so when you defeat Gorefist, he gives you a crafting item called the flesh barb and basically what that does is if you are able to bring it back to uh ward 13 you're able to craft a weapon mod called mantle of thorns as you can see on the right essentially what this does is that it reduces melee damage taken from enemies by 25 percent and it reflects 240 percent of the melee damage taken back to the enemy obviously this also reduces the stagger on hit and this lasts for 60 seconds. Guys, this is a very good uh, defensive item. I, uh, something I like to use this with is like if I end up using, you know, Leto's armor, which I don't even have leveled up at all with this character. But if you use this with Leto's armor and you don't have stagger, but you still also have the stagger effect. And then you just go straight up DPS on everybody or even go melee with the leech seed uh, ring. Dude, this that that uh, weapon mod could be golden, dude. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe I'm uh, dumb in this assessment. Do you guys use this uh, weapon mod? Let me know down in the comments below. If you do or have, let me know what you think of this weapon mod down in the comments down below. But with that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces.